Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Art Weekly. As promised last week, here are the daylilies. I've got two or three stages down on my paper. I'll drop in the two or three stages that I've got down so far. Just as a warm up, I've used Stubby, two watercolour pencils, trusty white paint, a credit card scraper, some yellow, and then I've mixed some yellow and green to start working on the buds. So the idea is, as the week goes on, I'm thinking I might just add in what develops as they start to bloom. And that will make a nice little project, I think. I also said last week that I've, that I've ordered something that I, didn't, I don't know if I need it. It's arrived. Here we are. Brushes, glasses, apron, and <laughs> the tabletop folding easel. Um, I had a quick look and to my delight it doesn't need putting together. It's ready. I'm really looking forward to having a go, having a play. Nick is Viswin. It's each word, folding and adjustable, working angles, holding a canvas up to 22 inches. So I thought that was quite good. I found a canvas, unopened, and I've decided this will be a nice size. I've decided I got such a response to that Instagram chair post. I have the altered printed paper piece, paper painting, and I've decided to make a canvas painting. This will be a bit like doing my own transcription, so I'm really excited about that. I'll take this table easel down to the house because it's something I can work on in the evening when I haven't got enough time to come up into the cabin. I'm still not sure if Bather is finished. I'm quite pleased and I'm telling myself not to go, probably not to do any more on that chair. So I might give that a coat of gloss medium. This was a series of three garden paintings, two sold and this one didn't. I'm tempting myself to have a little play with that. Um, if you've been following you'll recognise this is an old paperwork. The Cyclamen, I left it, an abandoned painting. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm looking at things and it, it's just so funny that this little painting um, that came from nowhere <laughs> uh, is informing me um, and that is what I absolutely love about the whole art practice. That one storyline, if you like, just one sentence lets another one roll, prompts the next. I'm going to take that one because it's the most basic of the jars. 
and see what I can do with that on the table. I've put down some Liquitex, this is fluorescent orange acrylic and I've squeezed out some white paint and I'm just going to carry on using this palette knife. I'm wondering which portrait or landscape can't decide. I might work a little bit more on that. Found another little floral framed um, paperwork, watercolour paper. Um, I need to do a little bit more in there, but I've gone for a black pot. Um, that makes me think, oh, series of black pots. I'm going to carry on this morning. When I left, the cabin yesterday just as I walked out the door. I'm wondering now if this chair should be a really strong pink. These are very unfinished so I can do more here. For some reason, I do, I, it's not some reason, I do know the reason. I'm resisting touching these guys. Why? Why, why, why? Why? Because they were the originals maybe. to bring up the colour with the fluorescent orange. Decided I didn't care for that big space up there. So um, these are abstract paintings in the painting ongoing. Plenty more to go, but I will not be touching the chair. I got distracted by that. I had to put the pink. <laughs> I had to see, I had to know. I'll grab it. Let me just move that one over. I have never played with so much pink ever, 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 ever. And it's looking incredibly pink, that section down that end. I'm going to do small, I've put in small little bits and I really want to keep this one abstraction because I think it's respite from all that floral pink that's going on over there. This needs to dry and it's not my eye, it's not quite the right pink. So I'll be um, fussing with that, no doubt. A tiny bit more paint went down on here. Everybody gets paintings that get left half started I can I can show you behind the camera. I mean, I've got this guy. I, I don't know where it's going. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's OK because it gives you it gives you plenty, plenty of material to play with. And I think that's essential. I read this morning that you can 
say no to things or stop yourself from doing things and a part of it might be fear of um, not getting it perfect that if you had if you could guarantee you would do it perfectly you would do it but there is no guarantee that you would do you would do it perfectly so it stops you from doing anything from having a go it doesn't you don't need to try and be perfect not on the not when you're just in the in the layering up process and it's when you make mistakes that you get an insight into what it could become or where it could go i've learned to really enjoy the process and that's what's happening at the moment lots of process no pressure at this point to get things finished obviously the nearer the exhibition gets um, i start to feel a little bit of anxiety about oh my gosh i've got to get things finished up i decided to have another go with that black circle and I think it needs that strength at the top on green chair. So I'm, I'm happy there. That's given me another move forward. Bather. <laughs> bather I've put more bather body in and um, more foliage, a bit more sort of structure at the bottom. Coming over, I have decided to go black pots and I like those. And I added in some fluorescent pink on that chair to try and bring it up a bit. So having said I'd leave it, there is a little bit more to go, but I've had a really nice time playing i like this little guy and paperwork on the bottom my most pleasing exciting thing this morning are those three funny abstract paintings on the wall of this chair painting and making the decision to work a little bit more on the abstracted piece that i really like Morning everyone. So the sun is shining and the flowers are really popping now. I've put some more layers down and, uh, uh, and there's obviously more to go here. I was searching this morning for some envelopes and came across, I've got to share this, and I came across this pad of sticky notes, Happiness Is. Um, I'll drop a photo in. So it prompted me to think being happy, <laughs> being happy for me is painting, paint, squeezing paint, layering paint, mixing paint, scraping paint. Uh, it's such a joyful thing. Once I got some depth in here, I must admit I felt quite a bit happier. So more to go, plenty more to go. And I've also put down on the table easel, I grab it. I went in with a crayon, with a watercolour pencil. I just marked in um, where things should be. So this is a very washy underground underlayer. It's the undergarment of the painting. So lots to go on there, but really good fun actually doing a transcription of something of your own. We had a lot of rain yesterday, so I didn't actually get it, make it into the cabin. Um, so I'm really pleased <laughs> to have plenty to be doing here in the house.
of that dry, I'm trying to paint with the brush or draw with the brush. This is not the best brush. Uh, but again, I can keep working over that. Working over allows you to start to build up texture if texture is what you want. I've put down some uh, burnt sienna in order that when I go over it with an orange, it will give me more interest. Better to let that dry, but just to show you, I will let that dry, but it will help me to get, let's just have a look. Yeah, it will just help me to get a bit more depth to it. I think the other thing to remember is that as soon as, for me, as soon as I start feeling that I'm trying too hard, if I start, if I scrape around it, it keeps me loose. It keeps me in mind that I can, you know, I don't need to stay tight. I can change things up. It reminds me that everything is open. I've got possibilities. I don't need to close in. I can keep it wide. I can stay wide open to anything. I think I'm at a departure <laughs> from the lilies now. They've done their job and I'm just in a world of my own. It's become a bit jungle-like. Oh, look, I better get, uh, let's get, while this paint is wet, oh yes, um, this is, that's lovely, digging around, I don't know what's under there. So you can see there's lots of wet paint down here. It's just a good experiment. I won't stop, I'll keep going with it. I've been glazing. I have been scraping, um, just more of the same. You know all my techniques by now. Uh, building up, building up, building up, wiping it back, building up again, just to see. I'm going to head up to the cabin. I haven't done any more on the transcription piece. Um, I've, had, I've been distracted this morning with the sewing machine and um, one or two other things. So I will get myself into the cabin and see what's going on in there. I, had to, I couldn't resist. I've been adding in more, more bather body and more foliage. The abstract paintings on the painting of the chair over there <laughs> encouraged me, that's all I can say, to have a go on here. So I, I am having fun. I am having fun with these at the moment. The fluorescent orange crept down here. I added in, I'm really pleased with the, the small additions to this guy I, I, I'm happy with. And I've resisted, I've just hidden that, I've resisted making any changes there. When I've done a series and then I get left, um, I think they need to be, they, they don't make as much sense when the series gets broken up. Um, and this is a woodland. This suddenly now looks so busy, very, very busy to me. In the comments, hello Jill, how spooky. Yesterday I stood thinking about um, the chair painting and should I drop in a bit of skirting and Jill wrote in the comments that 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 was giving her a problem something in this area so it's so fantastic that really gave me the impetus Jill to do it to put a bit of skirting in 
it's not finished i've just put a real it was a little temporary temporary skirting just to see and i think yes it, it it definitely helps it you want the eye to travel all around and not get stuck in one place uh and it takes me a bit of distance a bit of time away to be able to filter what is needed as you might have noticed i've come out of the woods i think i've found a clearing uh, i've gone somewhere completely different again the yellow won't stay but it's just to it's just a first idea if you like to see if i like those shapes and i think i do There's something more open um less claustrophobic so still busy here but a bit of breathing space up above it. But nearly, nearly there on the chair. Um, what else? I have, I've been working. I had paint, leftover paint again. Oh, I've lost my slipper. Um, so I'm working up on two more smalls. These are really, really good fun. And we have, Craig is working at the moment on for the smalls on a it's called a St Ives frame so it's almost like a dish edge and you can sit behind a baton your canvas board so I'm really excited to see how they look and as soon as um, as soon as one's ready I'll be sure to show you that so excited for those what else what else the ignore the green in the center I've worked more on, on here. Everything's just flowing along. And um, <laughs> I will show you. Uh, if, if you've been following, you'll remember the series of teapots. And um, I've gone in darker on that teapot. So playing around, so many things seem to be calling which is lovely ending here this week i think i'm running i'm running close i'll try and do a little bit more on the day lilies to show you next week i'm i've got a lovely day in london tomorrow so i'm excited for that i find myself in a very happy place with all the color and all the process um it's a feast for your eyes if you get lots going on try and stay loose try and stay free try and not think about the end result until you get there think about it when you get there but meantime just enjoy the middle stuff the beginning and just being letting things go where they want to go having fun with your paint have fun with your paints this week everyone thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and liking i'm very very grateful and we're heading we're we're getting there. We're heading up to 6,000, which is phenomenal. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you next time.